Yo, YouTube, what up, guys? I'm back with another video, man. I, I think this is something that people, a lot of people are wanting to hear and what needs to be done to Call of Duty to become a lot better and even become great, in my opinion. But hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background of me playing ground war, having a good game in ground war, nothing crazy, using the tank a little bit and then running around with the M4. So hopefully you guys enjoy that gameplay, but let's get right into what I want to talk about today. Um, first of all, man, let's talk about the normal mini-map. They, they need that to come back. Um, the normal ping, so when shots are fired, you can see the enemy on the mini-map. All that stuff, everybody wants it. Just bring it back. It, it's the Call of Duty feel, man. I'm, I have, like, almost a 4 KD, so it's not, like, a huge deal to me, but I would still prefer it. I still want it in the game. It's just, it just makes it Call of Duty. I think everybody would agree on that. So there's, there's multiple issues with the normal minimap, which we can get into later. If you guys want me to explain it more, just comment down below if you do. So I'll definitely do that for you guys. Um, the next one I'll say is Advanced UAV. Um, advanced UAV is really hard to get on this game because you can die from so many different ways, which we'll get into more here in a little bit. But it lasts 20 seconds long. A normal uh, Advanced UAV lasts 20 seconds long, long guys. Like, that's insane. Like, it's the second hardest streak to get. I mean, it's got to at least last at least 30 seconds, probably 45 to a minute to make it even worth putting on. I mean, because you think about the advanced UAV and what it does for people. Like, if I see my teammate get it, obviously I'm like, oh, hell yeah, my teammate got it. But at the same time, as soon as they get that, do you see how aggressive you play? You can see everybody, you're running around like Call of Duty is, you know what I mean? You're running around, you're trying to gun people because you feel confident in it. And that's what a normal mini-map would bring back in a sense. The camping would be cut down in half, at least. So I think the advanced UAV needs to last for at least 45 seconds, probably in closer to a minute to make it worth using. Uh, I think that would change a lot of the gameplay, how the flow is, uh, a, lot of how, a lot of how people play. And I just think it would be good for the whole game in general. Um, last, uh, third one, not last one, third one, sorry. Uh, let's talk about the tanks and ground war. Uh, ground war is one of my favorite modes. That's what I'm playing a lot right now. It's easy to level up, and you get a lot of score, you get a lot of kills. Um, playing objective, you get so many points, so, like, so many kills, so many score, you know. So that's why I'm, that's why I'm doing that. Uh, one issue, though, is the tanks, and obviously the sniping, which you, that you can't control. But the tanks, I feel like they should not be able to go on the hillside. Uh, on the river map, you know, Karst River, Karst River, you should not be able to go on the hill on top of it. It should be blocked off. People should be able to go up there, but no tanks should be allowed up there because that literally ruins the whole, the whole mode. Um, it, <coughs> excuse me, it takes the fun out of the whole game mode. And like half the team may be up there and three tanks may be up there, or two tanks. Um, you can't go outside. You have to literally sit in a building. You can't move. It's hard to capture stuff. It literally ruins the whole mode. Um, and I don't want to have to run an arc, like a javelin or a rocket or whatever to destroy it. That's not that's not w what we want to do. So I think the tanks need to stay on the ground. They're already hard enough to kill at that point. So might as well <coughs> put them on the ground. Um, but that's just one issue in ground war, I think, that a lot of people want to see change. Um, next one, ghosts and dead silence. I think this has been huge in the community as well. Um, ghosts obviously is a perk. I think if you're moving, it should not show you on the mini map. Um, but if if you are, if you're sitting, if you're sitting still, you should be seen on it with a UAV in the air. Um, <laughs> if you're moving, you should not be seen. Uh, I th they've had that in the past Call of Duties, and I think that's the best way to do it because it, it it promotes camping. That's all it does, and this is what this game is, man: camping, claymores, and more camping. That's what this is what this game is, and tanks. Um, dead silence is another thing. You can use it out of the upgrades, the field upgrades, but you get it for 10 seconds, and if you kill somebody, another 10, another 10 to keep going, but it's hard to do that when people are sitting in corners and you can't see them. So I think uh, dead silence needs to be a perk along with ghosts in the same slot, perk 2, and I think you should be able to choose between one or the other. Um, I think that would make this game a lot a lot better, just that and that itself. So I think if they did that, it would be amazing. And do that thing to ghosts that I mentioned, take you off the mini map. If you're moving, if you're not moving, it should show you on the mini map. But I think <coughs> I think Dead Silence is a very, very good perk or upgrade. So I'd love to see it as a perk or at least have ghost as the um, upgrade and Dead Silence as a perk so nobody can sit and hide. Because all the all this stuff I do, I'm doing right now, it promotes camping. All, of, all the stuff I talked about, think about it promotes camping and that's just something that this game is like and we don't want it to be that we don't want it to be that at all 
we want to have fun, run around, and make plays, man. That's what we want to do. Also, um, ammo. Okay, if you're not running the, well, they have some perks for the weapons that you get max ammo, reserve ammo. Okay, it just takes up a slot in your attachment, so you don't want to run it. Obviously, there's ammo refill stations and ground war, not in regular multiplayer. But you don't get very much ammo. I find myself running out a lot. Then that <coughs> that requires you to run uh, ammunition box, which you could be running something completely different. Maybe slightly buff the ammo where you get another clip or another full mag. Just something little like that. Nothing. That's not a huge change, but I think that's um, something that would help the game flow and also it promotes camping because if you run out of ammo you can't do anything until you get your ammunition box or something like that literally you just sit there all, all day and wait for it so that's another uh, huge issue right there I think just something little but I think it could also change the game uh, greatly alright number 6 okay claymore replenish there should be no claymore replenish at all in this game um, I use claymore and ground war because if I'm running up buildings I love running from B, the B building to C building across it, just taking out people in there. And I will set claymores at the stairs. I'll, if I run through the other side, I'll replenish my ammo, get another claymore, put it up one of those stairs, and I'll be halfway on the other side of the map, boom, get a kill, get a kill. Um, I don't think there should be any replenish, replenishing claymores because it's so OP and it doesn't make any sense. You're, one guy can have like four claymores laying around while there's another 10,000 that are in the map somewhere. So I just think you shouldn't be able to replenish claymores because all it does for people is promote camping. Um, all the stuff basically promotes camping, I'm telling you. Um, ADS. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm catching a cold, man. Um, I think they need to increase ADS. Not a lot, just a little bit. Because what does this do? It promotes camping again. If you're not aiming down sight fast, nobody feels com comfortable rushing around with anybody or with any gun. So I think uh, increasing the ADS speed would be huge uh, for people to play more aggressive. Um, it, it might bring a little bit more people running around, but I, I don't think this would be the, the the best change they can make. But I think there's something slightly that would give more people more an advantage of running around and using uh, using guns. So I think this would be a good change as well. Uh, number seven or number eight, excuse me. Increase increase movement speed slightly. Um, I do love when you get dead silence how fast you move. Like why can't be that that be the normal speed? You know what I mean? I know that's pre that's pretty op the speed that. That has, I think that between that and the regular running is where the speed should be when you run. Or I think your sprint out time shouldn't die as fast. I think it should have it longer. Especially like, because you play ground war a lot and you run, you have to run so far, you know. If you don't have a vehicle, you, it takes a while. But I just think mo increasing the movement speed slightly would be huge for the game as well. And it would let more people run around. Like I said, it, it, all the stuff that they have promotes noobs getting kills in corners. <coughs> um, next one. These are, th these are probably the two biggest ones. I guess normal mini maps, huge, and the tanks and ground war. But these two, I think, will really change the game if they do this. Uh, one of them they can't do, but this one they can do. Lap kill streaks. I mean, come on, man. Lap your damn kill streaks. Um, it's hard to get good p gameplays, man. The gameplays are boring to watch. Like, I don't want to upload a game where I go. 40 and 40 and 7 in a 30 minute match one set of streaks nuke like no dude like give me seven harriers or VTOLs you know what I'm saying just keep lapping these bad boys like we want streaks like give it to us like we want gameplays to throw out for people to watch and like oh my god his streaks are going in no we have one UAV like what the hell is that we have one damn UAV and then that's it and then we have an advanced UAV that you get 10 seconds with. Like, come on, lap your streaks. I think everybody would love that change. Don't lap them from the kills, lap them from your gun. So if you go on a 14 kill streak and your highest streak is VTOL, you'd have two VTOLs or 16, whatever it is. Because 8 and 8, 16, right? So you'd have VTOL twice. You'd have three VTOLs or whatever before you get a nuke. Like, that's how it should be. Um... Uh, that's what I think about lapping your kill streak. I think it should happen at least at UAV. Like, come on, man. We need UAVs. Like, those should be up all the time. Like, that's how you. I guess there's no normal mini map, so and everybody works goes. So, like I said, all this other stuff has to happen for the UAVs to help too. So, 
Anyway, last one I want to yeah, talk about. Uh, your, maps. Your They're awful. Just admit it. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'd be running out to the road, seeing nobody, and all of a sudden I get shot by 18 people. I mean, what do you do? Like, I run around a corner thinking I'm by myself, and I get shot by seven people in different windows. And I can't even see them. Like, the sun's in my eyes, boom, they're in a window, I can't see them. Or they're 18 stories above me, and boom, sh shoot me on top of the head. Um, hiding behind a door, looking through a crack in the wall. Uh, chilling with a claymore, as soon as you walk in, they can see you from that other corner while their claymore staring at your face. Uh, the maps need to change. I, they need to add the original maps in. I think that would help the game a lot. I want new maps because I don't like playing the same ones over and over again. Like, I like two maps. I think Hackney Yard and... Um, I think Hackney Yard and I like Gunrunner a little bit, which Gunrunner still got a lot of flanking routes and stuff. But I do like Hackney Yard. That one, that feels like a normal Call of Duty map. And that's the only one. That's sad. And I like Karst River, Ground War, except for the tanks. But I love that map too. But Hackney Yard is my favorite by far uh, for multiplayer, regular multiplayer. They need to bring back normal maps. Um, hopefully, with the free maps they bring in, like term. Imagine Terminal or Rust or High Rise. Imagine High Rise being a ground war map. Just make it ten times bigger than what it is. Imagine that. High Rise. You have an upper level. Imagine the two buildings on each side. You can go up. Make them twenty stories high. You can have snipers and windows. You can chopper spawn there. There would be no tanks in that map. You can go on the big crane. Get on top of it like you trick shot off it back in the day. You could do so much, man. There's a lower level where you could flank under. There's a middle floor that you could go. You could have A on the back all the way to E, man. Like across the whole map and make it huge. Like they could have some crazy... That would be a crazy map for a ground war. Just make it, like I said, 10 times bigger, 20 times bigger to complement ground war. Um, imagine that. You know how fun that would be? Terminal, like, these maps are great. Like, there's the same people that made these maps. They're great maps. Like, all of those maps were good. Like, bring them back. You know what I mean? Like, do something. Three-lane map, you know? Oh, man. Like, ground war with high-rise would be... I don't even know what to say. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I could go on and on, guys. I have a lot more issues that I wrote down uh, just looking at. like. But these are like the 10 major changes I think MW needs to make to honestly be a great game. I love the gunplay. Obviously, it takes uh, like it's one, two, two bullets to kill, but I think it's gunplay. I wouldn't say it's gun skill. But I just like how the guns play out. Because um, you could get lucky. Some people shoot with a headshot, and then her uh, ADS is like 10 feet over me or to the right of me, but they shot me first in the head. So, But that's what I think, guys. Let me know if you have any other thoughts, opinions, what needs to be changed, or what I other Because I have a lot of other stuff, too. You can ask me if I, what else I think. Just uh, comment down below. Um, you know, but that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully they do some of this stuff, which I think we're getting a big overhaul here soon. So... I'm really excited to see this. But I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, comment down below which you, what, you th what, what are the three top things you want to see. I know there's more than three, but what are the three main things you want to see? Let me know. I wanna, I'm interested to hear if I, didn't, uh, if I missed anything and stuff like that. So appreciate everybody watching, man. Hopefully you guys made it through the video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.